Si2H6 reacts with oxygen and the equation for the reaction is 2Si2H6 in the gas state, reacts with 7O2 in the gas state and produces 4SiO2 solid plus 6H2O gas. And we're told 30 cm cubed of Si2H6 is reacted with 150 cm cubed, which is an excess of oxygen. And we've been asked to calculate the total volume of gases present after the reaction. And we're told that all volumes of gases are measured at the same temperature and pressure. And we've got four marks for this question. If we deal with that final sentence first, since we're talking about the same temperature and pressure, we need to remember that one mole of any gas will occupy the same volume as any other gas at the same temperature and pressure. And remember that at room temperature and pressure, this volume is 24 decimeters cubed. And this means that the volume of any gas is equal to its number of moles multiplied by 24, if we're talking about room temperature and pressure. Now, we've not been asked to calculate anything to do with moles here, but we do need to use this relationship, but we can use it in a more simple form, whereby the volume of any gas will be proportional to the number of moles of gas. And this is really important when working with mole ratios from the equation. So we've been asked to work out the total volume of gases present after the reaction. And the total volume will be the volume of gases produced and any gases left over. We've been told that the oxygen is present in excess, which means there will be some oxygen left over at the end of the reaction. And all of the Si2H6 will therefore be used up. And the way that we unlock this question is by looking at the ratio from the equation. We're shown here that 2Si2H6 reacts with 7O2. And to turn that into the language of moles, this means 2 moles of Si2H6 will react with 7 moles of oxygen. Or to turn it into volume, 2 cm cubed will react with 7 cm cubed of oxygen. And this is because volume is proportional to moles. To put this another way, whatever the moles or whatever the volume we have of Si2H6, it will require three and a half times the number of moles or cm cubed to react with it. And we've been told we've got 30 cm cubed of Si2H6. And so it will react with some of the oxygen and we can work out how much by multiplying the volume of Si2H6 by 3.5 and this gets us 105 cm cubed of oxygen used and the ratio of volumes 30 to 105 is the same as the ratio from the equation 2 to 7 just scaled up 15 times. 105 cm cubed of oxygen are used up and this will get us our first mark but some of our oxygen will be left over and we can work out the volume that will be left over by subtracting 105 away from that starting volume of 150 and this means 45 cm cubed of oxygen will be left at the end of the reaction and this gets us our second mark. To work out the volume of gas produced we need to look at our two products the water is shown as being a gas and the SiO2 is shown as being a solid. And so that means we can ignore the silicon dioxide from now on because we are only concerned with the products that are gases. And water has a six in front of it in the equation. So that means two moles of Si2H6 would produce six moles of water or 2 cm cubed of Si2H6 would produce 6 cm cubed of water. Or to put it in a more easy ratio, the ratio is 2 to 6, or reduced down, 1 to 3. So whatever volume of Si2H6 we use, we will produce 3 times the volume of water. And since we're using up all of our 30 cm cubed of Si2H6, the volume of water produced will be 30 multiplied by 3, which is 90 cm cubed of water. And then the final task is to work out the total volume at the end of the reaction. So we take our 45 cm cubed of oxygen that was left over, and we add that to the 90 cm cubed of water vapor that was produced, and we get a final volume of 135 cm cubed. And this is our final mark of the four.